Um, I got dropped off. They left. Uh, the next day was somewhat interesting because he ends up showing up at my hotel room, which I thought was somewhat weird, but. He wanted some more. Mm -hmm. So when you say he showed up, he just... He showed up. I mean, I had no warning. I was in the room. There's a knock on the door. I opened the door and he's standing there. And he's standing there with more coat and he comes in and it was just like a quick, you know, rehash or rerun from the night before. Exact same program. Exact same program. Was he smoking again? Yep. So Barack Obama smokes crack and then you perform yep. all sex on him. And the, like I said, the only reason I had come out in, about it is I had reached out to the campaign even in 2007, only because I saw all these kids getting excited about it. Okay, wait, just, I, I just, so how did that end? Like Same way. So you get off, you finish smoking, you leave. Like, thanks, bye? Hmm. Huh. What did you think of him? I thought it was interesting. Uh, I thought he was definitely a con. But what do you mean by that? Well, in my life at that point, you had, you you made it clear I had already been around. Yeah, big time. Yeah. So you know when people are doing things because they actually really enjoy it, or they're sincere, or they're looking, you know, for yeah. a connection, or they're doing something because they're looking for an in or they're looking for a hook or it's a game. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I felt that it was a game for him. It, it was like, okay, what am I going to get out of it? Or is there something I can get out of it other than just, you know, the sexual part. Right. And lucky for me, I wasn't going back to Chicago anytime soon. So it really didn't matter. So you were left with a bad taste of just something, yeah, yeah. Um, 